So what we're going to be covering today is how to convert an Excel file to a CSV, how to convert a CSV file to JSON, how to import a JSON file into GameMaker Studio, and finally, how to actually read the contents of that JSON file in GameMaker so you can start using that data inside of your game. Let's get into it. First thing you're going to need is an Excel file. So here's mine that has a, a lot of cards on it. This is for my game that I'm working on. So it's a real Excel file, something that you probably will see and something very similar to what you're making. I have the titles of the columns here, and then I've got a bunch of different columns. So I actually have two different sheets in here as well. There's a lot of information, but what we're going to do is convert this Excel file into a CSV. So I'm going to click on file export, change file type, and down here is CSV. This is comma separated or comma delimited file. I'm not actually sure what the V stands for, but whatever. I'm gonna click save as, and I'm gonna save it as this one, very first cards. I'm gonna re overwrite it so it asks me that. This one right here, it's telling me that I've got two workbooks in it, so it's only gonna save the first one that is actually active right here, and that's okay. Now that's done. So open up any search engine and find CSV to JSON. I'm gonna use convertcsv.com specifically because it has a lot of options, which some of them are gonna be necessary for getting a JSON file that actually works in GameMaker. So I'm gonna open this up. First thing we're gonna do is import our file. Make sure you use the CSV file and not the Excel file. It can actually open both, but we want the CSV. We're gonna do this, and what's really cool about this site is that it shows you what it's gonna look like when you do this. So it already shows you them and then you can make modifications. Let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing is you can choose input options. If your first row isn't column names, you can uncheck that. If you need to limit lines, if you need to change what the delimiter is inside of your file, you can change that here. And then there's other options if you know specifically you need to add some of these in, then do that. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Next is the output options. Now in my file, for some reason, there's, there's field 10 and field 11. I've tried deleting all of the spaces there and I can't find anything, but Excel says there's still something in those. What's cool here is I can actually come in though and I can delete these from here. Now they stay here because these are everything that's in the file, but if I come down a little bit, they're no longer gonna show up here if I click CSV to JSON, and now they're gone. So I'm only grabbing the first nine fields because 10 and 11 in my file aren't anything. So that's really nice. Leave the rest of these things checked. It, we need these to work to make the JSON that we can actually import. And that's really everything we need to do. We're not gonna create a custom output via a template. We already have the output here. Now we're just gonna name it and I'm gonna download the result. Save the file, and there we go. So you can see I've already downloaded it once, so it's got a one next to it. But I'm going to delete the original, rename this to just cards. What I'm gonna do is copy this, and now we need to take this file and put it into our game itself. So wherever your games are, let's do that. Let's go to Documents on mine, Game Maker Studio 2, this project is called importing json we want to paste it inside of here so this is where we're going to store the file it actually ships with the game because your game needs to import it but people are not going to be able to edit this or open it up or view it in its original form because when a game ships it does a lot of stuff and kind of makes it unreadable to a human it compiles it into a game so you don't have to worry about having any secret information or worrying about people messing up your original data file but it does need to be in here for it to work so now we've converted it from excel to csv to json put it into our game and now we can actually get it into our game let's create an object inside of game maker I'm just gonna leave it called object one, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna create an event. This is gonna be importing JSON. Now this is not as complex as you might think. There's a lot of ways for it to go wrong, so make sure you follow along specifically, but for the most part, we're just reading a file 
and then we're converting the JSON with built-in functions, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna say cards equal undefined. This is what we're gonna eventually store them into. And we're gonna say if file exists, and we have put the file in our game, so we're gonna be in the working directory, and we're gonna add this because the working directory changes based on where the game is installed or running from, which means that you need to add whatever this constant is, or this built-in variable, to the name of our file. Ours is called cards.json. So if this file exists, then we're gonna do something with it. What we're gonna do is read it, var json, is gonna equal blank. This is what we're gonna store it in. For now, we just need it to be a variable. Then we're gonna get the file itself. So we know the file exists, now we can access it. So var file equals file text open read. And it's gonna be the same thing here. Whoa, a lot of Gs. Working directory plus cards.json. Okay. Next, we're going to loop through this file using the while loop and the function file text EOF. EOF stands for end of file. This means that while we are not at the end of file, so we're going to say while we're, while we're looking at the file and it's not the end of it, then we're going to continue to append each line to our JSON data. So JSON plus equals file text read line of file. So this is where we're storing it. This is the file itself. We're reading while we're not at the end, we're gonna read an entire line and add it onto this. Then we close it. If you don't close it, then you're gonna have problems with your game crashing later on. And then we're going to parse it by saying cards equal JSON parse the JSON. So JSON parse is built in. It takes care of all of that for you. It's really, really cool. And that's everything that we need to do. If we place this object in our room, run the game in the debugger mode, because right now we're not doing anything, but let's go ahead and pause it. Here's our instance. Open this up. Here's an array of cards. And here's all of the cards that I had data for in that file that we converted. And we have it exactly where it's supposed to be. So here's void parasite with all of its data. The last thing here, to string, is a function that we can just ignore this. It's gonna be in each one, but you don't need to worry about it. It's just something that GameMaker throws in there. It doesn't do anything, and it's not gonna ruin or mess up our game at all. So this is how do you import your data. Now it's here, how do we access it? Something important to notice is that this first one is an array, but then this is all structs. So if you're using GameMaker 2.3 and beyond, which you probably are, these are gonna be structs. Otherwise, I think they come in as arrays, which you should be able to access them as a two-dimensional array, which you probably already know how to do. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to access these structs because they're a little different. Now take note, of this first line, the name of each of these, because we need to know them. So this first one is card name, and I'm gonna go into our importer, and I'm gonna say show message. We're gonna do cards, and it's an array, so we can access it with just this, just brackets, zero, and in GameMaker 2.3 and beyond, we can just add another one here, and this time, because it's a struct, we need to add in a dollar sign and put in the name of what we're trying to access. So we wanna get the card type or card name, what it was. We do this, it's gonna show us the card name for the first one in here, which is Void Parasite. And that's how you access them. So you can save this information, make these into a macro so you can access each index inside of each struct correctly each time, making it nice and easy. And there you have it. That's how I've done it in my game and it works fabulously. Reading in the card doesn't take very long and not much processing power and you're only doing it one time. 
so you really don't have to worry about it taking up too much time. What's pretty cool is that GameMaker can also connect to networks and you can download information. So if you had a server online, you could have an online game that is constantly updating information if you wanted to by downloading a new JSON and parsing it and then throwing that new and updated information into your game kind of having like a living game or a game that can update on its own without actually requiring any updates externally. Kind of a cool thing, which if you're interested in, I can look into making a tutorial on that. Just let me know in the comments below. But that's all there is. Uh, I hope this is helpful and you've enjoyed it. If you liked it, do leave a like. It helps me to know you appreciate it and keeps me encouraged to make more content. Thanks for joining me. And as I always say, keep making keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. A huge thank you to all of the awesome people who support me over on Patreon. Their names are on the screen now, and every dollar pledged helps me create more awesome content. You can support me for as little as one dollar a month and get access to exclusive perks like my Discord server, your name in the credits, early access to my YouTube videos and courses, and more. Check it out at patreon.com slash letslearnthistogether.com or find the link in the description below and become a patron today.